the man doubles, he's the man, whatever. Welcome back to WWE 2K17, my career mode. We are back at it yet again. If you guys saw the last episode, three big matches defeated Matt on Raw, Dolph Ziggler on SmackDown, and had a pay-per-view debut match being the main event in a last man standing match against Fernando of Los Matadores. So now, it is tag team time. On Monday night, Coleslaw with Jaden Jet against the Lucha Dragons. Welcome, everyone, to Monday Night Coleslaw. We are live once again. And last week was an insane week, including Payback, where the champ main evented his pay-per-view debut against Fernando of Los Matadores. But now we are live here on Monday Night Coleslaw from Saginaw, Michigan. I believe this is the home of WrestleMania 3, if memory serves me right. I can't remember. It's either that or Pontiac. I don't freaking care, but... We're in the champ, still in the champ's home state. How amazing. So he's going to be in tag team action with Jaden Jett against the Lucha, Lucha, Lucha Dragons. Hopefully the champ can make lightning strike twice yet again because the champ has been on a roll in singles action, but he has not quite been on a roll in tag team action itself. Up oh, and there's the champ backstage getting ready for this matchup. Oh, it's Paul Heyman. What you're doing in that ring is simply unique and engaging. I like it. Keep showing that crowd that you demand their attention. Reminds me of myself in my younger, more handsome days. Am I becoming a Paul Heyman guy? Huh. Very intriguing. It's a battle where the participants will need to know where they are at all times. We have a team led by one of our breakout talents versus the Lucha Dragons. Two super teams. Who's going to win? <laughs> All right, let's get her for this tag team action. Ah, Michael. Some lucha, lucha, lucha action. And the champ has also added new moves to his repertoire. This should be fun. Wait a second. I didn't say anything about it using the entrances. Lucha Dragons making their entrance. So you can tell I can't even skip it. What in the world's going on? Boing. Yeah, we ain't waiting. We're ready for action right now. Yeah, we can run in slow motion. Pretend this is Baywatch. In the ring. Bulldog right off the bat on uh, Sin Cara. Oh, and Kaliso catches me with a Hurricane Rana. And uh, left arm bouncing off the canvas. Oh, and a jumping knee strike. What are you thinking? Oh, thank goodness that's not my good arm. Oh, once again to that left arm. Sin Cara jumping in. Bang! Well, and he takes down both of us at the same freaking time. Well, that run-in was failing. Yeah, that would that was useful. Very, very, very useful. All we did was watch their entrance and get our butts kicked. Very, very effective. Maybe I should take up uh, Paul Heyman on that offer. Should I sell out? 
Maybe I should. Or maybe not. You know what? I still got time to think about it. I could be the next Paul Heyman guy. But we never know. So still continuing on my career. We're ready for Tuesday night crackdown. This time it'll be... One-on-one -on -one match against Orton. Alright. What does the authority want? Four-star match and lose. Uh, we'll see about that. Welcome, everybody, to Tuesday Night Crackdown. We are live once again on Tuesday nights, our new home on the USA Network. That is right, after an odd episode of Monday Night Raw last night, Jane and Jen and DWC TV could not quite get to Lucha Dragons, but never mind that because we are live here in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, for Crackdown. Now the champ is once again going into singles action, but this time he is going against the Viper, Randy. Orton! The champ has been on a roll in singles action as of late, but tag team action nowhere even close. So tonight we can see if he can keep that singles action streak a going by facing off against the Apex Predator. Randy Orton. Can he get past the RKO? We will see. Next. Oh wait. We are next. Oh, running in with that drop kick right off the start. Orton goes down. Tell to whirl. DDT dropping that Viper on his head. And a shot to the chest. Horn getting help back up. Big right hand takes down the Viper again. The champ is just going to keep messing with him. Another right hand. <laughs> really having fun with the Viper tonight. Whoop. Reversal and shot to the gut. The champ counters with the fireman's carry takeover. Right hand. And Chapang. The people's punch. The power of the punch. Well, Doran thinking, oh, elbow to leg. Champ tries countering back, gets shoved. Champ turns back on Orton, counters out of the back suplex. Run in, toe whirl. DDT once again creating separation from the Viper. Champ helping him Orton up. Shot to the gut. And Kinshasa! Yeah! Got Orton. And drops him with a Hurricane Rana. Could not quite get him to the ropes. Champ's got Orton on his shoulders. Up, oh, but Orton's countering it. Yep. Oh, Orton's got him. The champ can't defend himself. Pendulum. Backbreaker. Yikes. That is the worst spot to hit the champ on because he's had a bad back for a long time. And. No! Angle slam! That's copyright infringement. Oh, the champ wakes up. Sends Orton to the corner. Oh, but the champ tries going into the corner. Orton gets out of the way as the champ slams into the post and gets caught with a snap DDT at a low angle. Orton just fast at all the striking here tonight. Up and charged in with that knee right to the skull. Stomping in. I had a knee right to the kidney area. Champ rolls out of the way. Up and drops Orton down. There goes a leg. Got to keep the Viper grounded. Take an Orton. Whoa, float through DDT. Oh, and the champ is just really, really showing hatred and disrespect to the Viper. Up, try charging in on Randy. No. Oh, inverted headlock backbreaker. Vintage Randy Orton. No, nope. uh-oh. The Viper, he's going in with those signature stomps. Stepping everywhere on the champ. Really making him feel the pain. And one touch right to the face. The Viper's going for the cover. Oh, but not even a one count. The champ is still got fight in him. How? We may never know. Uh-oh, the Viper is coiling. The Viper's gonna strike. And RKO! RKO! One. Oh, and the champ is in it still. What do you have to do to keep this guy down? Oh, the champ survived the RKO and gets a stomp to the gut. Randy is not going to be happy about this. Nobody kicks out of the RKO anymore. Oh, Orton is just going to make his whole body pay tonight. 
Warren tried charging in, but oh, gets thrown off by the champ. What's champ thinking? Dead end! Dead end! Dead end! Now go to sleep, cause the nightmare has kicked in. The champ going for the cover. Can he knock off Orn? One, two, no! Orn is still in it. Golly! Orn is just possibly playing possum here. Champ just doesn't know what he's got to do. Spinning Orton around. Hurricane run into the ropes. He's charging. Boom! Body avalanche takes down the Viper. Champ on the apron. Springboard. Senton bomb. This is not where he wants to be at this point in this match. That should put him out cold. Whoop. Orton with fireman carry takeover. Oh my God, his body's been too Uppercut. To the gut. What's Orton thinking? Up for and oh suplex with a cover. What were suplex? One, two. Oh, and the champ barely kicks out two and nine tenths for that one. Up, oh, Orton tried going in for that. The champ once again flown over. DDT. Orton is struggling to stand. Champ helps him up. And another dead end. That has got to be it for the Viper. One, two, no! What is Randy Orton thinking? Warren struggling to his feet. Champ, and the Nightmare kicks in! Beautiful! Kapow! Call a dentist, your teeth just got kicked down your throat. One, two, what? The Viper is still putting in a fight. How in the world is he doing this? Up, popping up, South Clash. Planted him. Could this be enough to take down the Viper? One, two, Yes. Oh, the champ has knocked off the Viper. He is un... This is ungodly. model. he could be the next Randy Orton. Don't make that kind of comparison, JBL. Well, I put on a four-star match, but I did not obey Triple H because I am still not losing to Orton. The rest of the card should be every bit as good as the last match, too. I don't care how much money it means. I ain't selling out. Hoo hoo! There goes Tuesday Night Crackdown. You know what? I think I'll put one more match for you guys. Oh, it's gonna be another tag team match. The Authority, reverse your opponent's finisher. We will see about that, so... Let's do this. Welcome everybody to Monday Night Coleslaw. Oh, once again we are live and we are in living color. The champ is going to be back in tag team action with Jaden Jett against the primetime players. Because right now, Monday Night Coleslaw, we are here live from Liverpool, England. We are across the pond, which means we are pre-taped. Yes, that has to be disappointing for you guys because you probably read the spoilers on Facebook because your dumb friends in your Facebook groups won't stop sharing the spoilers. We feel so sorry for them. And now, Jaden Jett and the champ will face the primetime players, Darren Young and Titus O'Neil, in tag team action. Now, remember last time we tried to go through tag team action, the champ and Jaden Jett tried to get a run in to take down the Lucha Dragons at an early advantage, but ended up getting their asses handed to them, trying to run in. So now, are they going to try the same thing with the primetime players? Or are we actually going to get a tag team match? We shall see. Ready? Here we go! Drop kick right off the bat takes down Darren. This is not a hate crime. Darren not even able to stand at first. Whoop! Overhead belly to belly to counter the charging champ. Dragging the champ into the set of the ring. Lifting him up. And 
Rolling next snap goes Darren Young. Oh no, he's going for the Boston Crab. Jericho invented that. Boom! All in their leg strength. Darren Young helped up to his feet. Whoop. Double palm strike countered. Half Nelson. Whoop. The champ lands on his feet. Low angle clothesline. As Darren Young takes one to the gut. There's your gut check for you. Shot to the gut. Double knees to the face. That's a first. Up right hand. And Papal's punch. Darren's going to feel that one in the morning. Nothing but electricity. King Shasa! Oh, the champ is just toying with Darren and A. Uh-oh. And dropped him down with the DDT as the champ tried charging in. And in comes Titus O'Neil. Uh-oh. Whoop, drop Titus O'Neil immediately going down to the leg. You gotta take down the big guy. Go from the downward area up. By downward area, I mean the legs. Tell the world. DDT, you gotta act fast because Titus has the strength on his side. If he gets his hands on you, he's gonna demolish you. You gotta counter power with speed. Uh-oh, Titus counters. And the champ is dropped with a back suplex. Oh, Darren, or Titus looked like he was gonna go away for the tag, but he's got the champ by the gut. Gut wrench. No, he's toying with him. Gut wrench suplex. Oh boy, the champ, oh, he's got that shoulder claw on the champ. Titus O'Neil is digging away at that shoulder area. Oh, this is really trying to make that arm go numb. Limit his, mo limit his offense. Going for the cover, one. And the champ kicks out before two. Ah, oh, and kick right to the spine by Titus. Really trying to line him a new spinal cord. But the champ floats over to get some separation from Titus. He still ain't done. Laying old. Fisherman suplex tossing him about like a fish out of water. Oh, he tried going for the code breaker. And Titus counters with a side rushing leg sweep. Up. Titus, he sees the champ near the ropes, dragging him away a little bit. And big left hand across the jaw. Titus going for the cover. One. And once again, before the two count, the champ kicks out. Oh, really wrenching in on that neck yet again. The champ getting up. Shot to the guy creates a bit of separation. And dead end! The champ going in for the cover on Titus. One. Two. No, Titus is still in it as his teammate, Daring, team member Darren Young tried to cheer him on. Uh-oh, that kick just pissed him off. Up and the champ counters out of that. Oh, the nightmare kicks in. The nightmare, the nightmare, the nightmare, Mago. Every cover, one, two. No, Titus is still in it yet again. Wow, he's still down after that. Oh, the champ is just getting cocky here. Titus on the shoulders. And boom! Almost like a Samoan driver. The champ once again go for the cover. One, two, whoop, not even a two count as Titus is still in this yet again. Up oh, and a kick to right to the midsection by Jaden Jett. Thank you, team partner. The champ's got Titus. Hurricane Rana drops him to the ropes. Champ goes charging in. Big body avalanche. Oh, Titus is really gonna be hurting on that neck. Springboard. Oh, missed with that sent on as Titus got out of the way. Up, oh, right hand by the champ. Scoop power slam takes down Titus yet again. Hoorah, 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 hoorah. The champ tries to go for the Pele. Oh, but gets met with a right arm clothesline by Titus. And Darren Young's a legal man. Whoa, big right hand takes down both gentlemen. The champ is stronger than I thought. Darren meets dead end. Cover him. One, two, not even a two count as Darren kicks out. Oh, and a shot right to the back cripples Darren Young. Is he going to be able to get up out of this? The nightmare, the nightmare. Oh, Titus is just worn out. 
Darren getting dragged to the middle of the ring. Cover. One. Two. No! Darren is still in this, and once again, Jaden getting his own two cents in here. Champ taking in. Oh, Darren takes the champ over, over his shoulders. Tries to go for the belly to belly, but the champ's counter out of it over from Darren Young. Champ tries charging it. Gets caught with a jawbreaker. Darren's got him. Up over the shoulder. Run and shoulder power slam. Almost all Oklahoma stampede, at, as I believe it is called. Up. Darren still got the offense. It's low angle DDT. Oh, he's not giving the champ any breathing room. Well, up. Looks like he's going for the gut check. The champ counters. Drop Darren on his head with the DDT. Oh, the champ is just preferring to do this on his own. Popping him up. Popping him up. Darren caught with the Styles Clash. The very move that put down Randy Orton this last week on Crackdown. Going for the cover. One. Two. Yes! Titus cannot quite pick, break up the pit in time as he was too slow, but the champ and Jane and Jed have won this tag team match, all courtesy of the champ himself doing all the work in this match. Oh, the champ finally broke the streak after having bad luck in tag team action, but now he is once again rising up that mountain. Unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. Bagamalo, he actually did this. Aha, what a maneuver! What a maneuver here on Monday Night Coleslaw. Incredible. I'm surprised I didn't get another Paul Heyman offer yet. What a lot something would have happened by now. Oh boy. Well, oh, excuse me. Anyway, folks, looks like that may be the end of the episode as long as nothing else pops up. Gonna quickly double check. Most likely, oh, sugar tits. It's looking a lot better than 2K16. Who am I even facing? Almost get to that. There we go. But again, it's saying, like, who am I even facing? What's the promo in reference to? Don't change that dial. In a match that will be etched in the record book. Nothing makes sense anymore. <sighs> but then again, that's wrestling for you. Not everything makes sense. Because in pro wrestling, they just want your money. Money, money. Yeah, yeah. That's going to take care of... I believe that should be this episode, isn't it? Double check. Yep. So the next episode, folks, we shall continue on. Starting off with Tuesday Night Crackdown. we going to face the Viper, Randy Orton. So hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Tune in the next one. We shall continue down this insane road. And see what it leads to next. Because I believe the next pair of you should be Money in the Bank. I hope. Yeah, I believe so. So thanks for watching, folks. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace out, folks.